lovely peas and carrots. I cleared a section under the trellis and leveled it off and mounded some soil up, leveled it off. I'm gonna water it next and then put my peas in. I had some Lillian's caseload whole peas. These are 55 to 65 days. Superior variety saved by Mennonite farmer Lillian Reel. And then Little Marvel Dwarfs. These are also short term, okay, 59, 59 to 69 days. I've planted these before, I like them a lot. So those are shelling peas. They're actually the kind that will plump up and then I'll have to take the shells off. And then I freeze dry, I freeze them and I use them in, um, I use them as snacks raw. And I also can dehydrate them because they rehydrate really well. And then I will throw in some sugar snap pea pods just for fun. I just have to remember where I put them. These mature in 70 days. And it says it goes from six to eight feet tall. So we'll see how it goes. I decided to put the uh, pea pods closest to the road, the Lillian's case load in the middle, and then the um, little Marvel dwarfs right here. And I like to put my packages out too so I can remember what's where. A lot of times I'll take a photo of it so I don't, I can refer back to it later. And what I like to do is put them just set them on the soil. That's why I like to level the soil out first. I like to set them on the soil to make sure I've got enough of the kind that I want and where I want them. And then just pop them in, down, in, deeper, deeper, deeper. These are very thick seeds. You cannot, it's very difficult to plant them too deep because they're so large. And one reason I like to wet the soil first is one, the, the seeds will stay when I set them down. And two, then some water is actually permeating down into the soil. So when I water them one more time, it won't just be surface water. Put all those in. And come to the other side just a finger it's not difficult stick them in I'm actually going in about that far down the soil itself is about up to this knuckle the second knuckle but the dirt it, um, like the hole feels like it's up to here but the soil itself is only about one knuckle so I'm going down going down 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 down. I think you get the drift of this part. Then I just squish them together, squish it together, and I'm just putting some soil over the top of the seed, just kind of closing the hole off gently, 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 gently. And then I kind of press on it gently too. It kind of makes a trough in the soil where I had those holes. And when I water, the water is going to seep into there. So let's close these holes. Gently, 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 gently. I'm not concerned about the air pocket when I close the holes because I'm pressing down on the soil. Press, 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 and there's that trench. A little bit of, a, just a little tiny trench. And that's gonna capture the water I put down next. And it will also capture rainwater when it comes. One more time watering, just to water them in. Water them in. 
So those peas are going to grow up. I'm going to train them onto the trellis. That was one reason that I mounded the soil so we could reach the trellis easier. And it's going to be on both sides. In the back raised bed, these are um, landscape timbers. There's two on top of each other and then it's filled with the uh, good, better soil. Um, so in the, ba the back, it's very similar. On this side, it's a little easier. And I'm only planting the sugar snap peas like near these two inside posts, like where I will be walking through. So if I'm hungry or whatever, I'll know these, I can grab the pods and just eat. Um, and then I'm just gonna put the dwarfs, similar process. This is recycled garden fencing, so it's a little bent, but that's okay. It made it really easy to set my seeds down where I want them. There's about 20 plants here. And then on this side, it was a little more challenging because this fencing is right up against the, um, the board for the bed. And I have to work around garlic that I already planted and it's starting to come up a little bit. And again, I did the uh, dwarfs here. Those are shelling peas, and then I've got some pea pods here. It's Tammy Lowe, the Lazy Northern Gardener, wanting you to learn and grow and learn and grow some more. You can like, subscribe, comment, and share if you'd like to see more videos.